Today I'm going to show you how to do the double undercut. Now the double undercut has a couple of purposes. You can use it to control a card to somewhere in the deck, or you can use it just as a false cut if you'd like. It doesn't really matter. It's really up to you, but let's get into the double undercut. Now what an undercut is, is basically taking a portion from the bottom of the deck and placing it on the top of the deck. That's basically an undercut. So the double undercut, as you might know by the name, is basically a series of two cuts, okay? So that's what a layman would think a double undercut is. You're just simply cutting the deck twice, like so, okay? But in reality, what you can do is this. I'll give you an example. We'll take the top card here, the Ten of Hearts, and if you want to control the Ten to the bottom, you can do a double undercut, and this is what it looks like. And as you can see, the Ten is on the bottom. One more time, we have the Nine of Clubs, and we'll cut that to the bottom using a double undercut, and there it is. Let's say, for example, you wanted to control a card to the top, say the Jack of Clubs in this case. All you need to do is a double undercut, so you have a pinky break, and you double undercut that card to the top. So let's get into how to do that. So what you want to do is, if you want to control a card from the top to the bottom, let me show you how to do that. So for example, let's say you have the Jack of Clubs. I'll keep it face up for now to show you uh, exactly where it is. So you're going to start off by holding the deck in the mechanics grip. All right, and then what you want to do is come over with your other hand and get a pink, uh, get a thumb break underneath the top card. So here you can see the break isn't that large. It's um, you know, it's it's about that size. This would be excessive, and you want to minimize the break as much as possible because you don't want the spectator to see that the card is bending up in the back. Okay. So you have your break like this, and uh, you're holding the deck in a bit of grip. I hold it with my middle finger and my ring finger near the edge, like so, okay, with a thumb in the back. Now you're going to come over with your other hand in the mechanics grip, like so, and you're simply going to riffle off about half the cards, drop them into your other hand, okay, drop them into your hand, bring them to the top of the deck, all right? So you're holding half the cards, and what I like to do is clip the cards between my thumb and index finger to free my other fingers. So this is what I'm doing. I drop it, bring it to the top, clip these this packet, and slide it on top while my other fingers are getting ready to release, um, to, to catch this other half. Okay, so I put it on top, and I maintain that thumb break. So I try not to lose that thumb break if possible. And then I drop this other half, clip it again, move it to the top, and square it up. And what I've just done is controlled it to the bottom. All right, so let's go over that again. I'll turn it face down this time. So once again, mechanics grip, you get a thumb break. So that's the phone. Anyways, you have a thumb break. Try to make it as small as possible. And now you're gonna let about half the cards drop, like so, into your mechanics grip. Bring it to the top using your thumb and index finger as a pincher grip, like so. Let it slide right on top and keep that thumb break. Now drop the other half, do the same thing, bring it to the top. And when you're sliding the packet on top, see there's the card, when you're putting the packet on top, try to make it as lined up with the deck as possible. Don't put it like this because the spectator will think you're doing something, trying to mark the cards, right? So when you do the double undercut, try to align the cards with the deck as much as possible. All right? And before you do your second cut, so here's your first cut, you put it on top, Make sure this packet is squared up on top before you drop that second half and put it on top. If you don't, it'll look something like this. Right? And it looks like this card is just sticking out and that's not what you want because the spectator will think you're marking it. So if you do it like this, they can still see that card, right? So make sure that packet is completely squared on top first, like so, and then drop the other half and move it on top. Now, what, when you're keeping your break, you're gonna have a little line in the front, like so, okay? But don't worry about it, these fingers will be covering it. With enough practice, you can bring the undercut to a speed where the spectators won't even notice it. They'll just think you're cutting the cards a couple of times. They won't even notice the line at the front, right? So, that is the control if you wanna get it from the top to the bottom. 
Let's get into how to do it if you want to control it from the middle to the top. So let's say you have a card selected. I usually uh, have a card selected near the top if I want to do the double undercut. If you have it near the bottom, then you barely have any cards to cut, right? Right. So I usually have a card selected near the top. In this case, it's six of hearts. Flip it back over. And now I maintain my pinky break, okay, near the top of the deck. You're going to do the same thing, exact same thing. So you hold um, that spot with the thumb break. Remember, their selection is right below the break. Middle grip, like so. There's a line, but don't worry about it. Drop about half the cards, so you can riffle off with your thumb, drop them in your mechanics grip, bring them right to the top, pinching them with your thumb and index finger, and square them up, push it right on top, and then drop the other half, bring those to the top. Now if you're a righty, you would do the ex exact opposite, so you just mirror my actions. So drop half, move it to the top, and drop the other half, move it to the top, like so. So that is basically double undercut. Let's say you want to bring it from the bottom to the top then. So your selection, let's say, is now the six of hearts. Look at that. And what you're going to do is get a pinky pull down. So this is fairly easy. You just hold the deck in a mechanics grip and pull down the bottom card with your pinky like so. So what you're going to do is maintain a thumb break now, transfer to a thumb break. Okay. Still holding an orbital grip. You're going to swing cut. Okay. Swing cut half the cards into your other hand using your index finger and clamping this packet with your thumb and index like so and letting them rest in your mechanics grip. Then you're going to come over with your other hand and drop that selection like so. Alright, so now their selection is right over here, the six of hearts, and it's being maintained by a thumb break. And now you proceed with the control from the center of the deck. So you simply drop half the cards, move them to the top and square up, drop the rest, and move those to the top. And remember, when you're putting the packet on top, move your middle finger so the packet can slide on top. All right, and that is the double undercut. If you have any more questions, let me know. But that is basically it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys. See you next time.